Hi friends, welcome once again. Now we will see, we are going to focus on the work concerning the geometrical entity. Uh, how exactly we can identify whether uh, geometrical entity is work constrained or not. Just provide the dimension for this entity. Okay, it got converted to magenta color. You can perform the sketch analysis on top of this. You can observe here, this is work constrained. You can just click here. What are all things are work constrained? You can just see here, these things are work constrained. So you have provided additional information which is not required. That's the reason it is over constraint. Whenever you come across this kind of color, you uh, you can easily analyze that these two are a duplication. Redundant uh, dimensions are provided which are not required. So delete one of them. In some of the cases, what happens is uh, you may end up uh, providing two different dimensions, additional dimensions for a single entity. And in some cases you may mi miss out uh, concerning a geometrical entity. So it becomes combination of magenta, green as well as white. So it is highly essential to optimize it and change the uh, entity color from uh, white or magenta to green color. Also you perform the sketch analysis to double ensure that the entities are constrained. Sometimes what happens is even the under constrained uh, ent entity would be in green color. Uh, uh, in that case, just perform the sketch analysis and ensure that it is ISO constrained. That's all for today. Thank you, friends. Thank you for your patience and valuable time. Keep watching, supporting, and then subscribe to the videos. Thank you.